Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode right here on the fabulous 2020 Flight Simmers. If you are new to the channel, well, better late than never, go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, because you don't want to miss any future videos just like this one. While you're down there, if you really want to help us out, smash that thumbs up button. So if you're with us today, you want to know more about how to manage your add-ons on your PC, and that's what we're going to do. So in today's video, we're going to talk about two specific add-on applications that can be downloaded from FlightSim.to that will greatly enhance your flight simming experience and may also help you identify crashes that you may be getting to your desktop. So if you want to know more about this, and this is something that interests you, Stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, everyone. So we are talking about two specific applications that can really help you out in your flight sim. The first one that you want to download is the Microsoft Flight Sim Add-on Linker. This will really help you in organizing all of your different add-ons on your desktop for you. This will also help reduce the amount of clutter that you will keep in your community folder as you do not want to keep that community folder loaded with all the different liveries, add-ons, and applications because it can really bog down the system, create longer load times, and increase the chances of CTDs. So what we want to do, and to people that don't know what that means, that means crashing the desktop. Anyway, what you want to do is go ahead and hit, click on the download button. It will go ahead and start downloading that down here. The next file that you want to download, and by the way, all of the links for these download applications will be down below in the description. Please go ahead and check those out. The next one we're going to go ahead and download is the Microsoft Flight Sim Community Downloader. Now this Community Downloader has already been confirmed to be compatible with Sim Update 5. This is currently supporting many different add-ons, and a lot of these different add-ons are not available on FlightSim.to. Some of them are, some of them aren't. FlightSim.to has a fantastic way of organizing all of their applications and add-ons. Well, if you haven't seen my video on FlightSim.to, I'll put a link down below for you on that one. Go ahead and check that out. You really want to see all the added benefits that having an account with FlightSim.to can offer. Back to the task at hand, what we want to do is go down here and left click on the download button to download the community downloader. Once we've gone ahead and clicked on those and downloaded both of those, you're going to go ahead and extract them. The first one that we're going to talk about is the Microsoft Flight Sim Community Downloader. And after you extract that, you're going to find an exe or an install file there. Go ahead and run that install file. It will go ahead and put a beautiful little shortcut right on your desktop. The next one that we want to talk about here is the Microsoft Flight Sim Add-on Linker. So after you extract that one, you're going to go ahead and pull the folder and put it right on your desktop. Now what we want to do is create a shortcut for this application. So we're going to go ahead and open that folder up, go ahead and scroll down to the middle. When you find the application icon, left click on that, then go ahead and give it a right click. You're going to go down to Create Shortcut. It's going to pop up a shortcut in here. Drag and drop that shortcut on your desktop. And there you go. We no longer need that file folder. Now the first one that we're going to open here is the Community Downloader. So if you open that Community Downloader, it will bring up the new beautiful downloader application. And the user interface is quite easy to navigate on here. Now the first thing you're going to see here is a bunch of different add-ons that are going to be down here on the left side. There may be some that you may or may not want. There might be some extra that you do want. If you go up here to add package, you will go ahead and see the additional packages that you can add to the main page. All you need to do is left click on that, hit install, and it will go ahead and populate that on your main page here. Now before you do anything and start installing all these, again the purpose of this is to keep the community folder clean. So the first thing we want to do is start a new folder on your desktop in which you're going to put all your liveries and add-ons in. I created one and called it Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and put it right down here. Now that is very important because this is going to help manage all of your add-ons. The next thing you may want to do is go ahead and open that folder and then create subfolders within that folder to help more 
specify your applications that you're downloading. So I have mine broken down into liveries, performance mods, scenery, and working title mods, and the Airbus mod. So you can do this any way that you'd like. Some people like to put individual file folders for each individual plane, and you are more than welcome to do that. I kind of keep mine this way. It helps me keep organized. So after you have done that and separated and made all your individual folders here, then you go ahead and close that out. Now before we do anything, we need to do a couple setting changes. So we're gonna click on the settings button and right here at the community folder path, we are gonna change this from the original Microsoft community folder to our new folder that we created on the desktop. Now again, we're gonna only set this to the main folder, not any of the subfolders within that folder. So after we've set that to the main folder, hit the select button, we can now hit the back button. Again, we are not done yet. There's one more thing we need to do here before you go ahead and start downloading like crazy. You're gonna click on this little button right here. When you left click on that, it's gonna bring up all the different add-ons and liveries that you have selected out there. Then you can now select those individual file folders within that new folder you created to help better organize your individual applications. So now once you have selected those individual folders, you can go ahead and hit the back button and now go ahead and start downloading to your heart's content. And as you're downloading those, it will then put those applications in the respective folders. Now that you have done that and downloaded all of your hundreds of liveries and add-ons and sceneries and whatnot, now we need a way to get those into our community folder without going through an arduous witch hunt. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the Microsoft Flight Sim add-on linker. It will go ahead and start the program. All right, so the first time you open the add-on linker, you're gonna be left with a screen similar to this one. You probably aren't gonna have anything over here and you may or may not have anything over here. I can't remember when I first started this up. But the first thing that you need to do is go to tools and go down to the options menu and make sure that your Microsoft community folder path is located right here. Now, once you've done that, there's a couple other options down here at the bottom. You can decide whether to leave them on or off. Most of these are personal preference. So go ahead and explore those to your liking. The next thing that you need to do is to enter your folder that you created on your desktop that houses all of your different liveries, add-ons, scenery, and whatnot. So you wanna go over here to add and then you would select that folder and put it here to tell this add-on linker where all of your add-ons are. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click the OK button and voila, this will bring up all of your files within that new folder you created. Now, if it hasn't done so, just go up here on the refresh and it will refresh everything that is in that file. By now, you should be left with all of the different files or applications that are in your community folder and all of the different applications that are in your newly placed add-ons folder. Now, it is very simple to go ahead and add any one of these add-ons to your community folder. All you need to do is go down and expand each of these folders by left-clicking on this little arrow right next to it, and then go ahead and click what you want to add. So if I'm flying the TBM today and I wanna pick a livery, I can go ahead and click on that TBM livery. Next, I can go ahead and click on the improvement mod because I always wanna have the improvement mod while I'm flying the TBM. And then the next thing I wanna do is have my working title G3000 mod. As you can see over here on the right, these are the extra applications that it is now placed inside your community folder for yourself. The very next and last thing that you need to do is to run the simulator. You can do that right from this screen. If you go up here to the launch simulator button and left tick on that, it will launch that simulator for you. And now you are started in your sim. Now, one of the things I didn't mention earlier was about the community downloader. And this downloader application also keeps track of all of these different applications. So when there is an update pushed to that GitHub page, this will show you that there is an update for it and you can go ahead and click the install for that update. 
So again, that really helps you out with keeping things up to date in your folders, as well as keeping everything organized in your folders and keeping the clutter out of that community folder. Again, that will better help you to identify any crashes or any problems that you may be running into the sim. Again, thanks for joining us here today on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you haven't done so already, please go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.